Hello there. Welcome back. This is a continuation of Let's Fly the Kerbal Space Program. It's been a while. I had a detour. I went in this other project, did this tutorial thing, so uh, which was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it, but... Uh, the, the but the the let's fly the the actual my moonshot program it did kind of suffer I've fallen behind haven't really done anything with it on this in a long time however I'll tell you what I'm thinking here I'll tell you that some of some of the work that I did look at all this stuff in here um the stuff that I did on the tutorial is going to be usable in my moonshot program here, here's the last thing that I put together when I was doing that tutorial with the C-7 flight pack space planes. We got the mothership here, and uh, I've got what was called Trainer 3. This is now going to be X-Cart 3. Uh, I want to take X-Cart 3. Well, first we're going to orbit it. It's going to be, become Oxcart 3. Instead of doing the uh, what I was doing with a strapping this thing to a rocket, no, I'm going to use this ginormous airplane. I'm going to take off. I'm going to fly up in, into high altitude, and then I want my my um, space plane here, X cart. X, I'm sorry, I said that wrong. This is X cart four. That's right. Yeah, this one's number four. X cart four will then detach from the mothership, and I will fly X-Cart 4 up into orbit. I will fly it to the moon. I will use these uh, RCS ports. I'll do a vertical landing on the moon. See, because there's... Why, why go to the, the, the trouble of constructing, uh, say, um, uh, different equipment for landing this, this airplane on the moon whenever I've already got landing gear? Yeah, I'll do that, and then I'll take off from the moon, and I'll come back uh, and... We're going to do one change here. I'm going to get rid of that engine. This is going to be a glider recovery. I'm going to say that the fuel tanks in in this in this airplane, they're not actually fuel tanks. That's the habitation module. It's equipment module. That's um, it's where the it's where where uh, Bill, Jebediah, and Bob live. Okay. This is going to be a glider recovery. I should I need to learn to aim that B orbit fairly precisely. Okay, let's go. What do, what do I want to do here? Uh, let's go to structural and aerodynamic. In making the plan, I I did one small alteration. Uh, this is a decoupler part. It's you see all nicely streamlined. Fits with the fits with the general aesthetic of of the aircraft. Uh, the defaults, um, the status of this part is fuel crossfeed enabled, so that, the f uh, but I do not want to, to have these fuel tanks in, in, uh, in my X-Cart, X-Cart 4 plane to be usable by an engine back here, so I just went and edited that one line in the, in the config file for this one part. It, ma it made that no longer have any fuel crossfeed. Okay, so... I need to have something on this plane. Here we go. Here we go. That's the one I want. Let me put that on the tail. I've changed around the parts that I'm using. I, I used, I, I was experimenting around with these, the Kyle and Winston Challenger parts. I like them. They, these are, uh, these are balanced with, um, so that they're proportionate to the, the same kind of, uh, fuel per weight, weight per fuel that you get out of the stock fuel tank and the, the same kind of thrust per weight ratios as, as you get out of the out of, out of the stock liquid engines. But I'm keeping several of the uh, various adapters and decouplers and stuff out of the uh, Nova Pack package of mods. Okay, okay, so let me see here. I need an engine. I'm thinking that this is going to be a multi-purpose engine. Um, that's me. That's, no, we want a one meter engine. These are consistent safe power, 300, 450, inefficient. That's, no, nah, that's very low thrust. Small compact, 140. Okay, let's go with Consistent safe power, 300 thrust, total mass is 3, burn rate 13. 
Here we go. That's going to be my basic engine. This engine, the way I'm thinking, I was, I was kind of uh, thinking of the design in my head. Uh, I'm going to use this engine. I think I'm going to use this uh, to to. That's going to be multi-purpose. This this engine is going to be used to get this vehicle. Uh, it's going to get to the moon. It's going to be used to take off from the moon and come back to Kerbin. And but um, the difference is all the fuel tanks I'm going to add to it. Okay, let me see where to go. Yeah, we need to have a separate stage. This engine that's going to launch here. Make it kind of tricky. You have to keep track of where all these parts are. Okay, so now I'm going to use this engine if I'm going to come back from the moon. Now, let me see. Let's tell you what. Let's. Okay, let me hang, on, hang on here. I haven't actually tried putting this together. I just had a design that I was thinking of in my head. And I was playing around with experimentation with a bunch of stuff on. Here we go. Captain Slug's explosive bolts. That's what I want. Yeah. Put this right there on the end of that wing. So we've got a couple of those. And those. Okay, let me see. I need to have their own tab for those. Okay. Because I'm going to hang some fuel tanks. Is that, that does not look like it's attached to those explosive bolts. That looked like it was attached to the wing. That is attached to the explosive bolts. There we go. Okay, I'm thinking that that these fuel tanks that'll probably be sufficient to to get to take off from the surface of the moon and come back to Kerbin. Okay, let's... I bet you they're going to wobble. Let's put some struts on there. Hang on here. Let's... Are those with the right decouplers? Yes. Yes. Yeah, let's... Let's put some struts in this thing. One right there. Okay, we'll match that up on that wing like that. And I'll take another strike here. Wonder if will that fit? Nah, it hits the aileron. Okay, zoom in a little bit. No! That was not what I wanted to do. Oh, sadness, sadness and loss. want to get yeah, there we go uh, let's try it this way that's not what I wanted to do either there we go there we go okay that looks pretty stable let's put an aerodynamic nose cone on the front of that thing um, how about this one well, that's a small one bang Okay, okay. That is the fuel that this thing's going to need. It's going to use to uh, take off from the moon and come back to Kerb. And now, I'm, th I'm thinking using this same engine. Oh, wow, that's asymmetrical. Look at that. Hang on. Let me fix this. Let me fix this. No! No! That's not what I wanted. Oh, no. Okay, doing it over again. It can be so tricky, it can be so difficult to know that you've you're highlighting the correct thing. Yeah, I like that. Oh, I was getting ahead of myself. I was Okay, hang on. 
Okay, okay, hang on here. Let me see here. So there's those decouplers, there's those fuel tanks. So this thing fires. And then we get rid of those. Yeah, okay, okay, we still got that. Where'd my fuel lines go? Your fuel lines, your boy. There we go, okay. Let me see here. Yep, that works. Okay, now I need other fuel tanks. I need the fuel tanks attached to this thing that I'm going to use to get from uh, Kerbin orbit to the moon. I think they'll probably need more fuel tanks, I mean larger. Let's do it this way, and maybe even... Yeah, yeah, hang on, let's do it this way. Let's think on this here. Oh, I see, I, want, I see how I want to do it. Um... Yeah, here we go. Will this work? Why is that one to turn sideways? That's not going to work out so nicely, is it? I can't do it like that. I'm gonna need one of these hardware attachment deals. No, not that. There we go, that's what I'm after. Okay, okay, that'll work better. That'll work better. And we'll put one of these decoupler what's-its on that thing. And a decoupler what's-it on that thing. Settle down. Bam. Yeah, all right, all right, I like it. Oh, hang on, is that? Yeah, that'll work, that'll work. Uh, let's stick with these same, same fuel tanks. Yeah, we'll stick with the same, these one meter, one by two meter tanks. Put another one right there. Okay, now where are these deep couplers? Let's not get too far. Let's not forget what I'm doing here. Yeah, these things... Okay. I actually need these down here. And turn those off. Bam. Okay, yeah, that works. That works. Uh, now, what was I saying? I, I wanted four of these guys, right? Yeah, so we're gonna repeat the same process down here in the underside of the wing. I'm definitely going to have to remember to get rid of these before I attempt to land on the moon. These are here to get me to the moon. Like that. Um, yeah, I need to keep track of all these decouplers as I go. Make certain that they'll match up. Okay, there that one works. That's this one, right? And a couple more fuel tanks. One of those right about there. Okay, and it's starting to get kind of complicated, isn't it? 
Yes, sir, it is. Alright, so what do we got here? Let me match those up. Okay. Okay, yeah, we'll keep this straight. Okay, so all four of those need some aerodynamic nose cones. I know that they, currently in the game these don't actually do anything. It's actually, it's actually, they don't hurt. I mean, they don't help at all. It just adds a little bit extra. But come on, it looks cool. And eventually we'll have, you know, better drag models and stuff. So I'll just I'll get used to it, you know. Okay. Okay, that works. Um, uh, struts. I want to strutify all these things. Okay, let's put some struts, reinforce these things. Like that. Like that. I suppose this part could get kind of monotonous, but it's it's going to be worth it in the end. This is going to be an awesome vehicle. It's going to be a very, very complicated vehicle. Let's stratify these things down here. And let's try and get in at this direction. Here we go. Strut right down there. I realize I, I I could just put these things on here and then launch and go find out and look at how much it wobbles and decide what needs to start. What does I, I don't know. Let's just be preemptive. Try to make it solid to to start out with. You know. Okay, is that they're all stratified. Now, let's do those fuel lines. Fuel lines for each one. It's always backwards in the way I think of it. If I were designing these, I would make them so that you attach it first to the... the you attach it first to where the fuel is coming from, and then you attach to where the fuel is going. But apparently they went it backwards. It's alright. I can work with it. Okay, that'll work, won't it? Yep, yep, that'll work. I just realized, uh, I just realized a problem with this. This thing, as it's as it's currently designed, it's going to drain my uh, returning home tanks equally as fast as it'll drain these tanks. Well, that's a problem. How am I going to fix that problem? Okay, okay, let's think on this. 